What is going on, my beautiful family? What is going on? It's love in the air today, Valentine's Day, and I'm with my loved ones, the Supreme family. If you can hear me, you can see me, go ahead and drop the number one, all right? If you can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one, and I'm going to go ahead and open up everything on my side. I hope you guys are having a good day. If you have Valentine's Day plans today, go ahead and let us know what you're doing in the chat section. Go ahead and let us know what you're doing to go ahead and show some of that love, all right? If you guys can see me and hear me, like I said, make sure to go ahead and drop the number one. Hey, Q's Car Review said, just joined the one-on-one -on -one mentorship and ready to grind. Congratulations, my boy, taking advantage of one of the limited spots that we have available. Everybody in here say congratulations for uh, for anybody for going out there and investing in themselves. All righty, we got Rich and Kathy. Everybody can hear me. All right, awesome. So... Uh, if you guys can hear me and, uh, and see me like you guys are saying, I want you guys to also drop what state or country you are currently watching down below. Also, I want to hear what are you struggling with when it comes to product research? Are you struggling with knowing what a winning product looks like? Are you struggling to know how to find it? And what are you looking to accomplish from this live today? Because if this is your first time ever in a live Q&A with me, Go ahead and let me know by saying first time because I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an objective of what today is going to look like. So first thing first, as you guys can see, you can see me, all right? I also will be sharing my screen. So as you guys can see, if you can see my screen, go ahead and drop the number one. This is going to be very interactive, okay? So Siaka, Kathy, Jorge, Hadar, this is going to be very interactive. So if you guys want to make sure that you're growing and growing as a community, being able to be heard and being able to see in live time what's going on, then you know you're in the right place. So I'll be sharing my screen as you guys can mention. So while I'm sharing my screen, I'll be going through different things today. As you can see, I have a cheat sheet document. This cheat sheet document is going to break down multiple different ways to do free product research and how you guys can utilize this to your fullest advantage to find five to $10,000 plus winning products. So if you do want this sheet, Make sure to smash that like button down below, and let's go ahead and get this video to 350 likes. And, uh, you know, go ahead and show some love in the chat section. But, yes, I have this full document for you guys. We'll be reviewing it today, as well as the methods and the things that we're looking for. So that's a little bit of what's on the agenda. Now, also what's on the agenda for the people who are saying that it is their first time in here. Well, we also give out some giveaways. So some of these giveaways are going to allow you to streamline your success with your e-commerce business, get more personalized one-on-one -on -one help, and even a vision to know what to do after getting this one-on-one -on -one help. So what we do is we give out two major giveaways, and I might give out some other stuff today as well for the people who are staying to the end because it's Valentine's Day, and your boy got to show some love, all right? But we got Rubina in Cabo, Mexico. Rubina, you're supposed to be in, in Canada, girl. Where are you at? But anyways, so... This is going to be two giveaways. The first one is going to allow you to get a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team. This will be on Zoom to allow yourself to share your screen, record the call, and be able to get, uh, allow us to you know, control your mouse and look through anything that you're struggling with when it comes to product research, ads, your store creation, anything in between, plus some. Second is you're going to get a 2024 success plan that is tailored around you. So once you do get off of this call, you already know exactly what to do based off of your experience, the things that you're struggling with, and what you're looking to achieve. So if you're going to stay to the, to the very end today, I'm um, going to say I'll be here to the end. But what's up, everybody? All right? Joseph, what's good, my boy? Cole, Arthur, Christina, Joshua, Chadley, Rich. What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a good day. If you guys have any Valentine's Day plans, go ahead and let us know, all right? But today we'll be covering finding winning products for free, understanding how to use trends to our advantages, and so much more when it comes to finding winning products, especially throughout all of 2024. I'm going to be also opening up the floor to a Q&A today to allow you to be able to ask questions, and that will be at the end of the live right after we give out the giveaway. So like I said, for the people who are going to stay to the end, like King is and, and Joiah and, um, you know, Joseph, for the people who are saying they're going to stay to the end, you guys will be able to reap those benefits. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, you guys ready to go ahead and start this off? If you guys are ready, you have your notebooks out, you have your pen and, pap your pen and paper, you are in an environment where you can focus, your phone is off, you're in an environment where you are locked in. Go ahead and tell me you're locked in the chat section. I'll wait. I want to make sure you guys are ready. If you're locked in... Tell your boy you locked in. 
That's Q1. We're still at the very beginning of the year. You can really, really, really take off from this point forward and see a completely different point of yourself as well as your own financials as long as you guys are locked in. So I want to know, okay? Like Rich is saying, Arthur's saying, are you guys locked in? I'm ready. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you guys are just now joining, again, I'm giving out a giveaway today. I'm giving out a cheat sheet today because of Valentine's Day, showing you, showing you guys some love. This will come out at 350 likes. I also am uh, going to be showcasing you multiple different winning product uh, variations today and just so much, okay? So if you're just now joining, go ahead and say, I just joined. Drop your state or country down below and also drop your experience level. If you're a beginner between zero and 10,000, drop that and say beginner, intermediate is going to be 10,000 to 100,000 and advanced is 100,000 plus. Let us know whatever your experience level is in the chat. Starting off, free product research methods, all right? First thing first we always need to do is we need to verify the trends. This is what I'm always going to start off with when it comes to product research because my opinion doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. You know, what does matter, though, is consumer demand and basically the barriers to entry in the market. But more important than all of that is data, okay? I want to give you guys an insight real quick about why I struggled when I first started dropshipping. If you've never found a winning product before, say, you know, drop the number two. Okay, if you, if you have found a winning product before, drop a number one, all right? But basically, the reason why I struggle finding winning products whenever I, whenever I first started off is because I did not understand how to verify the actual consumer demand behind a product. I was just trying to sell products that I thought I liked. If you have ever done that before or you're currently doing that now, let me know in the chat section as well. I did this for a while, and then I kept losing and losing and losing. And then I realized there's two different areas of dropshipping, and there's two types of products that I can sell. I can sell trending products that go with, you know, whatever season or trend is currently happening or about to happen, or I can sell, like, higher-level niche products that, you know, will require a lot more money and capital and a lot more time editing experience and et cetera. Like this is what really goes into selling those type of products. So I was like, okay, the easiest way for me to get into drop shipping is to take advantage of the, of the demand and what I can do right now and what is currently working in the market, okay? And if any of you guys have the Blueprint 4.0, let me know, okay? Joai is saying using your Blueprint, Blueprint 3.0 has been a drop shipping lifesaver. If you guys saw the Blueprint 4.0 that has print on demand, that has organic marketing in it, that has TikTok shop, TikTok ads, Facebook ads, SEO, building your store, everything you could think of and more, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys, all right? So I realized the easiest way is for me to verify the trends, understand where consumer demand was, understand what markets I need to be in based off of not my opinion, but the data. So the way that I was able to do this is by utilizing something called Google Trends. Now, if you guys have used Google Trends before, say yes. If you have not used Google Trends before, say no. Now, with Google Trends, this is like a crystal ball, okay? It's allowing you to see the past, the present, and the future when it comes to buyer behavior, all right? Now, for the people who are asking about the Blueprint 4.0, okay, or even about the mentorship or anything, you guys can see all of that at supremeecom.com. You will see the course for the Blueprint 4.0 here. And if you do want to apply for one of the limited spots available in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, you can also go to this mentorship tab, which will take you to this screen where you can get on a free discovery call with myself and my team to uh, you know see if it's a good fit for you. So that's what's in the pinned comment as well if you guys want to check that out. Now, and also do not be mad if there's not spots there. I try to tell you guys this all the time. Then people start DMing me, AC, you don't have any more spots for your mentorship. And I'm like, I told you guys, like, it's quality over quantity. So don't be mad. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Now, like I said, crystal ball, present, or past, present, and future. Really seeing what consumer demand is, is doing, basically, at all times. So how do we figure this out? Okay, well, you know, the first way that we figure this out is going through the market relevance. Okay, this is step number one that I want you guys to understand of why this is uh, is important. All right, market relevance. Staying on top of trends ensures that your dropshipping products are re are relevant and desirable in the current market. 
I've seen some of you guys saying no when you, you guys were talking about, you know, not using this before. Well, let me tell you the reason why. Consumers are more likely to purchase items that are in, uh, in vogue, increasing the likelihood of sales. Let me ask you a question right now, uh, Lisa, okay, and Fabio. Would you buy a swimsuit in the winter, or would you be more likely to buy a swimsuit in the summer, okay? Or, you know, would you start shopping for Christmas in the last week of December, or would you really start probably buying Christmas things in October or November-ish? You guys let me know, because this is how you guys can determine uh, buyer behavior. For example, like Christmas. I know every year when I want to start advertising towards a Christmas trend, when do you believe as a marketer that you should do it? When do you believe you have the best time and the best advantage? Well, the best time is through this area right here. So this is where you can, you can understand when every year, based off of you come by the last five years, all right, it's not lying. And you see the trend is consistent. And this can apply to many, many things. Now, another reason that we utilize this is we want to understand competitive advantage. By identifying and capitalizing on emerging trends, you can stay ahead of the competition. Think about it. When do you believe, let's say for something like, we can say, you know, Mother's Day. When do you guys believe Mother's Day, you have the best opportunity to take over the market? You guys let me know right now. When is the, when is the least amount of competition? which gives you the most opportunity to make the most profit and to take advantage of the most market share. When is that time frame? Do you start selling Mother's Day items March 7th or, or March 7th uh, through the 13th? Or do you start around this area right here? You know, maybe March 13th, maybe March 19th. Where do you guys start it at? All right, I'm seeing some of you guys saying the right answers. It's going to be right around, you know, second week of March. Another reason is increasing customer engagement. All right, trending products often generate buzzes, okay? And they get a lot of social sharing as well. Like, you guys can name multiple products that you've seen on TikTok and Facebook that have so much organic shares and comments it, when things are relevant. Like, let's say the Rose Bear for Valentine's Day. Have you ever seen that before? One for yes or two for no. You see the buzz behind it and people saying they want it and they want to get it for their girls and just how that type of product makes sense for that season. One for yes or two for no. Okay? It gives you guys the opportunity of really increasing your brand's visibility on social media and other platforms and being able to do it with not only having to use paid ads. Okay? We do teach paid ads because paid ads is one of the easiest ways to drive conversions and drive crazy amount of profitability for yourself but for you to even get even cheaper traffic and, and driving organic traffic increasing customer engagement by utilizing products that go with trends also helps with this and lastly higher profit margins this is one of the main reasons i do this trending products they often generate a buzz and social sharing all right and while doing that you get higher profit margins due to the increased demand it just you know supply and demand when there's more demand, you give more supply. And you're moving up with the demand through the seasons and trends. Does this make sense? This is how you can be able to do that. Let me move myself. All right. So also, you know, when a product is in high demand and less available in the market, because customers are generally willing to pay more for it, leading to better profitability and even more with your dropshipping business. And guess what? This is my last reason why this helps a lot. If you're one of the first people in the market to sell a product and you have a supplier that is supplying the product with you from the very beginning, your profit margins and the product cost is going to start reducing whenever you start increasing the quantity of the orders coming in, which will happen when you have more market share. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Okay. So now that we understand this, I want to give you a couple quick examples just so all of us are on the same page. And then we're going to go ahead and get into all these free product research methods down here and maybe we'll go ahead and find like 10 to 20 winning products a day. Is that something you guys want to do? Should we go ahead and find like 10, 20 winning products together, validate them through the entirety of it? If you guys want that, smash that like button down below. Okay? And also let me know in the chat section. I hope you guys are having a good Valentine's Day. Now, first thing first, we're going to go ahead and see what it's like when we miss the trend. 
Okay, here's an example of what it's like when we miss the trend. Valentine's Day is today. We miss the trend, obviously, right? When does it peak out every year? This week, between February 12th and uh, to the 18th. So do you want to be a part of something? If you're going to notice that the next week, it's going to d- go down. And then after that, again and again and again and again. Yes or no? You guys can let me know. Now, let me go ahead and give you an example of something that is right on trend, all right? This means that the market is still available for you to come in right now. And it means that you still might have a little bit more competition because, you know, it's still a little new. All right. You'll have a little bit of competition, but it's not a lot. All right. This is the perfect time to sell it. This would be something like the Easter trend. All right. We all know Easter is starting to come up. And then I'll give you guys like one more, which will be like spring. Okay. We know the spring season every year starts picking up, you know, right around, you know, this time frame. So this is a lot of the gardening products. Well, you guys tell me right now, what type of products do, you know, work well in the spring season? And by the way, if you guys do not know what to do, I'll show you guys in a second about how you can take these trends and seasons and find multiple smaller niches within these seasons and trends. Go to specific platforms and utilize that to find products that you could take advantage of in the market today. Now, if you want that, say, I'm here, AC, I'm taking notes, I'm ready. All right, drop in number one. Give me some feedback down below, okay? And also let me know if this is making sense to you. And then one that might be a little early, like I just showed you guys earlier, would be like Mother's Day, where right now might not be the best time to start selling towards it, but you can start prepping. As you can see, last year started picking up right around the March season, okay? So that's only like about a month out. So... This is what you guys need to understand. And when consumers are always consumers are always going to be predictable. And you if you understand the data and you get ahead of the trend, you're going to have more success than someone selling at the very peak of it because there's a lower barrier to entry. Now, do you guys understand what barrier to entry means when I say this? Yes or say no. Antonio is saying, uh, I'm currently taking lessons in the 4.0. Antonio, give me some feedback. Um, because that 4.0 is what my one-on-one mentorship students are using every day as well. And, you know, I always highlight the student of the week always in here. So let's go ahead and knock it out real quick. Uh, the student of the week this week is, uh, right here. My boy BD. All right. Coming in hot in our mentorship starting on the sixth day. Okay. The sixth was the first day ever advertising, joining this mentorship on the second. Um, and in about what, like, what what would you say that is like eight days, was able to generate over $3,000 from scratch. I want you to see the zero before this, okay? I want you to see it. I want you to see the sessions over here where it says 1.38, meaning he was averaging about a 3.5% conversion rate. So I do want all of you guys to say congratulations, BD. And if you guys want to see the successes of my students every single week and continue to keep staying motivated, like, just got my third sale on one of my interests in my cold audience campaign, Time to Scale, and just started running ads, what, three days ago? This is what we do, okay? Keep on grinding, $1,000 days, all right? If you guys want to be able to be motivated by my students, continue to see the successes of this every single day where you see my finger doesn't stop. I don't know if you guys aren't noticing. I can literally just close my eyes and it will never stop. Like, we do this. We don't try to do this. We actually do this, like 30K in a month or, you know, $14,000 in a day. What I'm teaching you guys right now is legitimate information that if you apply, has already worked for so many other people. And this is my Discord down here if you guys want to take advantage of it as well. There is a free chat where you can be around myself and my team so you guys can be able to ask questions here and there. You guys can shout out some of your goals. You can shout out the people who've helped you out. There's a community of free channels that you guys can take advantage of. Obviously, I have my private channels for my private students. But if you do want to join the Discord, I will go ahead and post it down below for you guys, okay? If you guys are in the Discord, let me know in the chat section, all right? You guys can drop the number one if you are in the Discord. You, we are family here at Supreme Ecom, so we're trying to grow this community uh, around like-minded individuals on a day-to-day basis. So now that we understand this and we understand, you know, the before, like what is, you know, missing the trend, what's right on trend, and what's a little early, all right? Let's go ahead and show what ways that we can find some winning products. So one of the ways, okay, one of the ways that we can find winning products is going to be 
my ad finder now if you guys have ever heard about this let me know have you guys ever heard of my ad finder yes or no and by the way i see you jay pulse i see you kathy i see you use all right david i see you guys from the discord all right the family's in the house all right if you guys are part of supreme family let me know so my ad finder this is one of my favorite free product research tools and actually i found a lot of products this way i'm not gonna lie if you guys ever, ever used my ad finder before let me know, okay? But basically what happens is once you turn this thing on, okay, you can see it's going to transform your entire news feed to only ads, all right? So obviously you have to be on, I, I'm, typically, I'm on a private uh, incognito browser right now, so it's not gonna load because I'm not on my actual browser. But basically what happens is it just transforms your entire news feed to only ads itself, which makes things really, really, really helpful, all right? And you can also have it just auto scroll as well. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but my ad finder is very, very, very useful. And I would recommend it to all of you guys. All right, that's method number one. You guys can get it from Google Chrome as well. It is a free Google Chrome extension. All right, you guys can see it is a free Google Chrome extension. You guys uh, are able to download that right on there. All right, other ways that I like finding winning products is going to be with Facebook Ad Library. How many of you guys have used Facebook Ad Library before? If you guys have used Facebook Ad Library, let me know. But I'll show you guys how I like to take advantage of this. So if we understand, and this is literally how I'm gonna do product research, like I'm gonna show you literally how I do it from scratch, okay? Let's just take this for example, spring, all right? Spring season, it's right on trend right now, all right? I don't care if it's winter where you're at. I don't care if it's snowing where you're at. I don't. It's not about my opinion. I want you to look at this, okay? You see how it's starting to really pick up, right? We're not even close to the peak, but we're getting we're getting some really good consumer demand. Let me show you what the next step that I like to do, okay? The next step that I like to do is I like to take my opinion out of it again, and I seriously I just come over here, Chat GPT, and I say I am a online drop shipper. And I am looking to take advantage of the spring season with finding other products that make sense to sell during this season. What other niches or items are typically sold in the spring? It will come back. How many of you guys are using ChatGPT? One, if you guys are using it, one for yes or two for no. All right. But let's look, right? Outdoor and gardening products, spring cleaning products, health and wellness, okay? Seasonal clothing accessories, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is gonna give me a list of every single thing that I could basically focus on when it comes to trying to figure out what products to sell, right? Take Alex's, or take a Alex AC, whatever you guys wanna call me. Take my opinion out of it, okay? Oops. Take my opinion out of it real quick. I want you guys to read what it's saying. So now that you guys are getting this information, this is where you can then come back over here to Facebook ad library. And you could type in something like if we see, let's say gardening as something that makes sense to sell during the season, let's type in gardening. When we start typing these type of products in, these are the things that we're looking for. We want the products to be sold anywhere between 30 and $120, meaning that we want to see consumer demand behind the product and we want to make sure that we can be profitable with the product okay so consumer demand goes with taking advantage of google trends profitability make sure that is we have a selling price of 30 to 120 you can even really go up to 150 all right you just want to make sure you're not selling cheap items you need to make sure customers see value in it i'm not going to sell fidget spinners i'm not going to sit here and sell silly bands I sell things that people can change their life with or make their life easier with or make their life more efficient or, or you know, that they can see value. You want to make sure that's also getting good engagement and that the product is being scaled or has been scaled before. Meaning, I want to see ads that are running today. Okay, I don't want to see ads that are running a year ago. I, I want to see ads that are running today. So I understand right away what market to take advantage of. Is this making sense? But Walt, are you with me? Stacy, are you with me? Stefan, are you with me? Kathy, are you with me? Now listen, 
It's Valentine's Day. Your boy trying to show love. Show me some love. I'll give you guys this full document at 350 likes. And how about this? I'm going to be giving out a giveaway today, like I told you guys, in about 30 minutes. If you don't win the giveaway today, I'll give out another giveaway winner this Friday at 10 a.m. when I post my YouTube video. And I might even do something past that. But I want to make sure you guys are smashing that like button down below and that you guys are enjoying this information. If you guys are enjoying this information, the value you guys are getting, you're learning something, let me know. All right? But look, go to here. I can come to here. Type in something like gardening into Facebook ad library. Okay, it's another free platform. It's going to show me all the ads that are currently being ran on the market today. And I'm just going to scroll. And I'm going to say, okay, am I going to be able to find something that either A, solves a problem, B, has a wow factor, C, okay, is being ran and advertised today. These are the things that I'm looking for. So again, I'm just going to keep scrolling until I find something that looks like it's going to solve a problem. So again, when you are using free product research methods, I want you guys to understand that it's going to take a little bit longer, but that's fine. Okay. But I already saw an amazing product. Let's ask let's ask some questions real quick. Let's ask some questions real quick. Before we even get started, let's ask some questions real quick. Does this I want you guys to tell me yes or no throughout this video. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna ask you guys questions. Are you ready? I want all you guys to pay attention for what I'm looking for and what you should be looking for as well. Okay? First question. Would this make sense to be sold during the, for the gardening or the spring season? That's the first thing I'm asking myself. Okay? Would it make sense? You guys tell me right now, yes or no. Would it make sense to be sold during the gardening season? Does it so That's what I'm asking myself. Okay? Next question. Does this solve a problem or have a wow factor or is it unique or can it be efficient or help somebody's everyday life? Yes or no. But Walt, Sayaka, Lisa, Sonny, okay. Third question, okay. Are there people who are running ads for this product today so I do not have to reinvent the wheel? Okay. Oh, look. When you look, this is the same company, Home and Garden, having multiple different ads out for the same product. What, what does that tell you guys? What does that tell you guys? Let's stop there for a second. This is what I love to see. If I find that a competitor has multiple variations of ads out, you guys tell me who the hell is going to sit there and spend that, money, that amount of money on ads if they're not making money back? Who's going to be pushing multiple different ads if the first ad is not working? They are pushing ads. They're pushing money to it. Let me take it even a step further. You guys want to know how I really do product research? Okay. All right. You saw I just clicked on the store, right? All right. Watch this. I'm going to click on about. I'm going to click on page transparency. I'm going to click on see all. Go to ads library. I'm now going to go to their specific ad library as a company. And now I see all the ads that they're running. And now I can completely spy and take anything that I want from these people and do it better than them. Oh, AC, you said you want to make sure that they're running multiple different types of ads because it means they're scaling, right? Well, how do I know that they're scaling a particular ad? Well, when you see that something like this is saying 15 ads in use, meaning that this one specific ad itself is across 15 different campaigns, that means that that's their main ad that they're scaling. And then you know which ad to base your best ad off of. Does that make sense? Yes or say no. I just want to make sure this makes sense. Okay, and we can, take a, we can slow down for a second. I'm giving you guys the fire. I'm giving you guys the heat. I'm giving you guys the crazy stuff. Now look, what if I did something? You guys can let me know if you want it. What if I took it all the way back, all the way back, and I challenged myself to do to make over a thousand dollars in revenue um, from scratch, no store, no product, nothing, in seven days, and if I don't win, I give cash and a store out. Would you guys want to see something like that? Because I have a video coming out here soon. 
challenged myself. I literally started from completely scratch. No store, no product, no ads manager, no nothing. Nothing. Just to show to you guys, because I love, I love when people say dropshipping is dead. So you'll find out if I was able to succeed or not. But it's coming out here soon. I hope you guys are ready. All right, so we already know what's the main ad that's being ran, but you guys basically get my get my point on that. So like, okay, I'm like, bet, I know that this is working. All right, now I'm gonna ask myself another question. Okay, can this appeal to a mass audience of people? It definitely can. I definitely know who to target as well. When I go to their store, okay, are they selling the product between 30 and $150? Yes or no? You guys tell me. You guys let me know. You guys let me know. Okay. Now, let's look through their product page. We can do it together. Like, are there things that you would take from this product page that you guys like? I know I would. You know what I'm saying? You guys know another crazy thing? Look, I could literally just copy this entire thing, go to ChatGPT, Say, here is my com my competitor's product page. Boom. Rewrite this for me in the product description so I can make it better. Can make it better and in my own words to avoid copywriting. And look, it will literally <laughs> sit there and now it's building me out an entire product page. I don't know if you guys are utilizing this thing and your resources to the fullest extent, but as you can see, all I did was just give them the competitor's product page, and now it's building me out a product description, and I did absolutely no work. Obviously, I would add in like some pictures and some images, and I could you know use this in a way that really is helpful. Um, but yeah, like I'm not sitting here taking hours like doing this stuff. When there's things out here that do th like do things like this for you for you, okay. Anyways, that's the next step. Now I'm going to come over here to either AutoDS or AliExpress or wherever you guys want to go ahead and go to. I'm gonna go ahead and type in the product, all right. And then I'm gonna be like, okay, where can I get the product? Garden Kneeler, okay. Let's go. Ahead. I mean, this is just like one random example, okay. That's not the best one. Let's just find one that actually makes sense. Obviously, you would find it, whatever, and then you would just be like, okay, can I supply it? Can I actually get the product? Like, these are the things that you are looking for. And this is something that you can tell, you know, as long as you come over here, this is my last step of validation, basically. As long as you come over here and you take this $59.97, okay, which is their selling price, and you follow this rule called the 2.5 rule, which is going to allow you to be able to surface 25 to 40% profit margin on any product because it's going to protect you. All right? This is what I do on every product. I divide this by 2.5, which is their selling price. And I'm like, okay, $23.98 is the most that I can spend on fulfilling this product. So when I go out there and look for a supplier, I'm going to go ahead and look for $23.98 for the product cost plus shipping. All right. Obviously, you have to do your research. You can't just go to one platform like I just showed you. You have to go to, you know, AutoDS, AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping. Like, look around for your suppliers. Find out where you can get the best supplier for the product. All right. Now, one thing also is there's another big tool that I love to use. Okay, and I would recommend that you guys use it too. All right, which is going to be considered. Similar web. How many of you guys in here have used similar web? Yes or no? Because when I find a product like this, all right, I can use a tool for me to examine their traffic and almost get an estimate of how much money they're currently making. So I know who my biggest competitor is. And while doing so, I can find all these Shopify stores who are currently running this product, uh, the product as well. Would that be helpful for you? Yes or no? In the meantime, I got a giveaway coming out. 
And I told you guys, for the people who are going to stay to the end, you guys are going to have an amazing opportunity to take advantage of this giveaway. But let's go ahead and get into it. So this giveaway, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, is going to give you multiple different things, okay? If you want to take advantage of this giveaway, drop the number one. Now, this giveaway is going to give you multiple different things. First off, a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with myself and my team to get an inside look of your ads manager, your ads, your videos, your store creation, your product research, anything you have questions over, and we will streamline your success while doing so. This will be a one-on-one -on -one call. This will not be a group call. It will be one-on-one. -on -one. It will be allowing you to share your screen and doing everything you need to get the advice and success that you deserve, plus a 2024 success plan tailored around you and maybe even some free Supreme Ecom merch, Okay. If you do want to take advantage of this, go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton and you must follow me. Come down to this video right here, okay? I want you to like it. I want you to comment the word Wi-Fi bread, repost it to your story and tag me, and come back in here and say the word done. Look at the actual description real quick, okay? Look at the comment section. You guys will see exactly what to do. This is how you guys get it done. Go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Follow me. Come down to this video. Repost it on your story and tag me. That's going to be the most important thing that you do is repost it to your story and tag me. It cannot be off of a close friend account or anything like that. It needs to be off a legitimate account. All right? Once you repost it and tag me, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, like the video, come back in here and say the word done. All right? You guys let me know if you guys got that down. I will be giving out that winner in 20 minutes, okay? In 20 minutes, I'll be giving out that winner. I'm already seeing some of you guys taking advantage of it. Cool. Let's go ahead and get back on track. So the next thing is going to be Similar Web. If you guys have not used Similar Web before, this is a really great platform for you to be able to check and analyze any website traffic. Like I said, when you guys are done, make sure to come back in here. You got to come back and say the word done so I know that you took advantage of the giveaway. And also, I'll be seeing it on here, too. All right? I'm seeing Perfixa. I'm seeing NK Legacy, Rosella. I'm seeing Joe. I'm seeing you guys taking advantage of it. All right. Again, I'm going to give out this winner in 20 minutes. So from now until 20 minutes, that's on you. Okay? Similar web. So once I do get to the company's website, all right, I like to do this. I like to go back to Google. And I like to type in the product itself, which is a garden kneeler. Okay? Garden kneeler. And I like to type in plus my Shopify.com. Why? Because Shopify's back end of their website, the coding is still gonna pull up if you do say plus my Shopify.com. It's still gonna show the relevant websites that are our Shopify websites. So why is this important? Well, we run Shopify stores, okay? So I want to know who my actual competitors are. I don't want to know who the people are that are not actual Shopify stores. Maybe they're in-house people, whatever the case may be. I want to find my actual competitors. So I always do Garden Kneeler plus MyShopify.com. And you're going to notice that all these people down here are all Shopify websites. So you can just open up, you know, any ones that you basically want. It does not matter which ones you guys want to open up. It okay, doesn't matter how many sales that they have. doesn't matter any of that. And you just want to go through it. And you want to use similar web to be like, okay, who's getting the most traffic? So when you do have similar web installed, okay, you guys will see. You'll click this button right here. And you can see right away, okay, who's getting good traffic? Well, you can notice that they're, you know, getting around 20,000 visitors last month alone. You're noticing that majority of their traffic is in the United States. And you're going to notice that their selling price is $59.95 for this product, right? $59.97. So, okay, let's see how much basically they made last month alone. If we take $59.97, we already know that the industry conversion rate for a Shopify store is 2.5%. So I take the amount of traffic that they have, which is 20000 okay? Last month alone, 20,000 monthly visitors multiplied by the industry conversion rate for Shopify stores, 2.5%, okay? It's going to give me $500 or 500 orders. That's basically an estimate of how many orders that they had. Take over it and multiply it by the selling price. So 500 orders times the selling price of $59.97 
which comes out to right around $29,985. So would it make sense for you to also take advantage of something? This is 29, this is almost $30,000 before the se season and train has actually started. <laughs> the season and train is starting this month and really is speaking or really going crazy throughout March. So think of making $30,000 at the very beginning of a trend starting. And you can just go across the board and just keep finding out, okay, who is getting the most traffic? And that's who you can sh uh, should be basing yourself off of. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Okay. You can do the same thing on TikTok ad library. I don't know if you guys are using TikTok ad library, but if you're not, this is another place that you guys can do this. So with TikTok ad library, you can do the same thing here where this is going to break down a lot of what ads are currently working on the market. So for one, okay, I don't even have to type anything in. I can just look at, I can just go by like whatever's having the most amount of likes and what's working right now. Like, okay, bet. I'll do top, I'll do whatever videos have the most likes and I can do it by the last seven days. I don't even have to put anything. I don't have to put any niche at all, okay, or any season and trend. And then I can just ask myself the same thing. Am I finding something that solves a problem, has a wow factor, solve some type of problem, but you guys have to understand, TikTok is gonna be different. Here you can only sell products that are between 25 to $60, really. A smaller, smaller, you cannot go up to 120, 150. You wanna find things that actually, you know, are a little bit less because that uh, household income on this platform as well as the age. So anyways, this is one way that you can do it and you can utilize it. Just trying to find anything that solves a problem, has a wow factor, similar to this right here. It's called a grippy. Here's another one, like uh, period cramps. Uh, this is like a menstrual period reliever, okay? Again, another product that solves a problem. But you can also come back and utilize it the way that I was showing you guys as well before. So like, okay, if we want to stick with the gardening niche, for example, all right? I can come over here and type in gardening. Or I can even type in spring. Let's do spring. Okay, we don't even have to do, we don't even have to do it. And we can see all day long what is working well for the spring season. You can also come and type in like TikTok made me buy it. Okay, these type of things work really well too because these are going to show you a lot of different videos that are like actually selling videos. All right, I found a thong that's also shapewear that solves a problem. Would it does it or does it not? Okay, it's not just any type of thong. It's one that helps with shapewear. This summer is about to get, you know, wavy. Look at this water pistol gun right here. All right. The season and trend for summertime is coming up in about one month. So being one of the first people in the market to take advantage of this this year would go really, really far for you. All right. So these are some ways that you can utilize TikTok ad library. I mean, you could type in gardening. I mean, you could do it all. Like you can type in whatever things you want. You'll just have to filter down and try to find throughout, uh, like really look through it. All right, if we even come over here to gardening, you know what I'm saying? Same exact approach before. We'll just find anything that solves a problem, has a unique aspect to it, you know, has a wow factor, and just take advantage of that market. Next, let's go ahead and keep moving because I'm not done yet. All right, we have Amazon movers and shakers. How many times have you guys, have, have you guys ever used Amazon movers and shakers? You guys let me know. This is another really, really, really great platform to use. So Amazon Movers and Shakers. What is Amazon Movers and Shakers? Okay, Amazon Movers and Shakers is going to be... All right, hit me. I'm on a live Q&A. Yeah. I mean, Amazon Movers and Shakers is a feature on the Amazon website that highlights products experience uh, significant upward movements and sales rank over the past 24 hours. So it's going to tell you on Amazon's platform what products over the last 24 hours are getting the most engagement? Okay. So if you guys come over here with Amazon movers and shakers, there's only a couple of really big ones I like going into. Well, first is going to be the baby niche. Okay. We all know the baby niche goes crazy. So here I'm just looking, okay, well, over the last 24 hours, are there products over here that are something that I could potentially sell that solve a problem that are getting more traction and could go a long way for me? For example, this product right here, a pregnancy pillow. All right. Would it make sense to sell a pregnancy pillow? Well, my opinion doesn't matter again. So let's come back over here to Facebook ad library and let's go ahead and see, are there people advertising something similar to this? And if there is, 
and we notice that there is opportunity for us in the market, that's something else that we can take advantage of. Pregnancy, pregnancy pillow. All right, and by the way, one thing I'm going to tell you right now that oh, is even better when you do these type of things. When you get when you get deep into this product research, you're going to realize you're going to find products that you weren't even looking for. This is my favorite thing about product research. I'm going to tell you guys, probably about 50% of the time when I'm actually looking for the product that I'm looking for, I end up finding a different product that I'm like, oh, shit, this is way better than the first one I saw. This is going to be one that I run. So look, like this is one right here. I wasn't looking for this pillow. I wasn't looking for this one, but... Now I have a comfort feeding pillow. So I was looking for the sleeping pillow, but now I have a comfort feeding pillow. This is going to go even further for me. I would sell this either as an upsell or make this the main feature product. It solves a problem. It can appeal to a mass audience of people. It has a wow factor. It can, you know, it's something that you can't just go find at any local Walmart, Target, or store. You notice that people are advertising it today. You notice that there's two people advertising it now, okay? Look, it says active. It says they started running it yesterday. And would you look at that? There is another person right here, a different company, with five ads of this variation of ad who actively are running right now, who are running this same product. I wasn't looking for this. I found this. This is how product research works. Okay? This is how product research works. Now, you still might be able to find the actual product you're looking for, which I think is this right here. Look, we just found it, the actual product itself. But this is how I utilize it, all right? So let me give you a better understanding. I find whatever platform I'm on, and I'm just trying to figure out what advertisers are currently doing today. Are there people advertising the product today? What is the barriers to entry in the market look like? That's all I'm doing. I then just check off a list of like seven questions. Does it have a wow factor? Does it solve a problem? Is it being advertised today? Are uh, like are people actively engaging with it today? You know, are they getting good traffic using similar web? Can this appeal to a mass audience of people? Can I find this at any local Walmart, Target, or store? What does the supplier you know ratio look like? You know, am I getting my two point five margin? Like, this is the only thing I'm really doing, right? Then I just go to their website and I'm like, okay, are they are they selling the product for anywhere between thirty and one hundred and fifty dollars on Facebook? Or if it's a TikTok product, or at least are they selling it between 25 and 60? Okay, check that off. All right, go and find the supplier and be like, okay, am I meeting my margin with it? Boom, check that off. And then you start advertising the product. Like, you, it, 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 you don't have to overcomplicate it. All right, but anyways, we ended up finding that. That's Amazon Movers and Shakers. There's other ones. Other ones I definitely recommend on this is going to be the Beauty and Personal Care. Okay, this is another one that's really, really, really big within uh, Amazon Movers and Shakers. Everybody knows beauty products always go a long way. I wouldn't sell any type of like serums or anything like that. But, um, oh, this is really cool right here. A microfiber hair towel. I see, you know, my girl be using her shirt all the time, like, for Rubina, or for any of the girls in here that I know are in here, how many of you guys wrap up your hair with either a towel or ha do it with a t-shirt? And now somebody has a actual dedicated microfiber hair towel. This little thing goes a long way. You, I need to know. I need to hear from the feedback. Maybe I'm tripping. Would this be a product? Would this be a product that solves a problem to all my to all my ladies out there? Okay, my beautiful ladies. Would that solve a problem? You guys let me know. All right, a microfiber hair towel. Like, you get it salt, like, you know what I'm saying? This could go a long way. Like, this could go a long way. And I know, I, I know so many people out here be struggling. Like, I know it could go a long way. So, that is another really, really thing. Like, it, it's 100% a problem solving product. So beauty is another one I like taking advantage of. You can also come down over here. Um, the other smaller ones I like doing is uh, health and household or home and kitchen. Okay, home and kitchen, anything that solves a problem during this time. Look, Rubina said, yeah, we do. Like, I'm trying to, yes. Fadima's like, yes, it definitely would. All right? I just wanted to know because I know I see you girls out here just, oh, you know, with the with the towels or, you know, with the with the shirts. So I knew it would go a long way. All right. 
So that is one, another way. Let's go ahead and keep moving because I want to make sure we make it through this list. Okay, next one I like taking advantage of is Tamu. How many of you guys have heard of Tamu? One for yes or two for no. Okay, this tool is actually a very profitable tool. And it can go a long way for you because I want you guys to understand who shops on Tamu. It's making me sign in right now. Get myself right real quick. Anyways, I want you guys to understand who shops on Tamu. So the people who shop on this platform are real buyers. Okay. So it's not drop shippers who are buying from this, like AliExpress, you know, which you can find winning products on AliExpress for free too. Real drop shippers are. But before I show you guys to move for the people in here who are asking about the giveaway instructions, okay? I'm giving out the giveaway winner in seven minutes, okay? T minus seven minutes. Go to my Instagram. I'll go ahead and post the instructions one more time for you guys. Hope you guys take advantage of it. And by the way, if you do not win today, okay, I told you guys for Valentine's Day, I'm giving out another one. So as long as you smash the like button and you come and you come and watch this live, and after this video is published, you comment your biggest takeaway, I'll give that winner out this Friday at 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you don't win now, you still get the full opportunity of winning in about 48 hours. So if you want to do it, Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, follow me, go to this video, repost it to your story, and tag me, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, come back in here and say the word done. And then, yes, Michelle, there's only, I think there's like three or four spots I'll have to qualify with my team for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. If you do want to apply, you can apply at supremeecom.com, and you'll be able to get on a free call um, that will break down your goals, what you want to achieve, what, uh, you know, all of that and more, because we tailor every single mentorship towards your goals, your wants, your why, and what you want to achieve. No mentorship is ever the same. So if you want to take advantage of that, you guys know what to do. Eshop said he commented. All right, Eshop, I'm going to go to Instagram real quick. I'm going to see how many of you guys really took advantage of this. Let's go ahead and see. I'm seeing 13 of you guys. I'm seeing Grind Mode. I'm seeing NK Legacy. Hey, you guys, I'm not seeing no reposting. You guys might not want to win, but that's fine because of people like Jake Snake, Tech Wizard, Kathy. Kathy, I see you, girl. I see you, Kathy, in there. All right. I see you guys. Well, I'll go ahead and pick out that winner in about like 17 or 7 minutes-ish, all right? Next one I like doing is Tamu because real consumers are shopping here. So this allows me to understand what real consumers are trying to buy. And then all I got to understand is, okay, who's actually out there advertising these products? And is there opportunity for me to bring them to those platforms? So like, for example, um, I mean, out the gate, this is a fire product. I don't even know where it just went. This is actually a product that I've scaled over six figures. Um, is a portable dishwasher, okay? Now, this can go, like, buku crazy for you guys. Let me tell you right now. This product, as you can see, can appeal to people who are constantly traveling, constantly on the go, RV, RV people, even people who have less income who can't afford washers. Like, this can go, this can appeal to crazy amounts of people. I mean, even for dog, like, washing dogs, washing cats, like, you know, there's multiple ways that you can highlight this. You know, truck drivers. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. Now, you know, when I saw this, this is the same thing that I did to find the product. I literally came over here to Facebook Ad Library. I typed in portable washer. And then I was like, okay, am I going to find the product itself? If people are asking to repost it, you just repost it by just clicking the repost button on your Instagram. Okay, click repost. And um, it will be added to your story. And just make sure to tag me, okay? Anyways, this is literally what happened. Let me tell you guys right now, all right? I was looking for it. And I was like, oh, my God, I found it like this. And then I was like, oh, my God, there's another person advertising. And I was like, oh, there's actually consumer demand behind it. And then I went even further. I was like, I'm going to try to upsell it. So I was like, what can I upsell with? And then I saw this one, which was like a portable dishwasher. Okay, the other one is for clothes. This one is for dishes. So then I was like, boom, I have two alternative directions that I can really go with this and upsell it. And mind you, there's not, there's really not that many people on the market who are selling it right now. So um, this is an amazing product. Let me tell you guys. Um, portable dishwasher, portable washer, both solve problems. Both have wow factors. Um, you can go either direction with this. I just gave you, I don't even know how many products I gave you guys today. 
Um, but yeah, here's an actual ad for the product itself. Somebody's, let me see if they're actually running it. it says inactive, so they're not even running it anymore. So that also gives you opportunity to know who's less competition. And by the way, when you do come to Facebook ad library, you can come over here and you can set different filters. So there's like this little filter button. Let me move myself. And this is also a really great way you can use it. So when you click these filters, one thing you can do is you can just go and be like, okay, I only want to see something on Facebook or Instagram or whatever. I only want to see English ads, right? I only want to see videos. I want to see only active ads. Maybe I only want to see something like within the last week. Like I only want to see people who are currently running ads um, today. So maybe I'll go over here and I'll do 0201. And then maybe I'll do it like to today, right? So like I'm now only seeing any ads that are currently active that have been launched within the last 14 days to understand how much barriers to entry are really in the market. Now, as you see, it stops right here, okay? So the only people who are actively running ads and releasing ads for this product is two people. And there's nobody, remember I told you guys earlier how you want to see like five ads, 10 ads, like meaning that, you know, multiple people are running that ad in multiple campaigns. You're also not seeing that with this either. So guess what that means? When you see things like that, you know that people are trying to get into the market. They can't get into the market and no one's actually scaling it. So there's a great market share available for you. And then you can go to TikTok and do the exact same. Does that make sense? One for yes or two for no. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get into this giveaway winner. Um, there's other products on here you guys can take advantage of. I will highlight a lot of fitness and, like, waist snatching uh, products are going to be going really, really crazy recently. As you can see, the reusable mop replacement, spring cleaning, we already saw that earlier as well. You know, this I gave you one season, which is spring, and I gave you guys, like, ten different ways that you guys can go about it. From spring cleaning, health and wellness, season clothing, travel and leisure products, home improvement and decor, seasonal food and beverages, sustainable and eco-friendly products. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But now, let's go ahead and get into the giveaway winner. Now, if you are watching this later, okay, you're not watching this live right now, like I said, you can still win this giveaway. Just make sure you're still following the same instructions that are in this chat section. But I want you to also come to this YouTube video that you're watching right now and comment your biggest takeaway at the very end of it, all right? And I'll be choosing that winner out um, this Friday at 10 a.m. So let's go ahead and get into it. So how I told you guys I was going to choose the winner was going to be wherever my finger stopped. And also, if you guys want to let me know your biggest takeaway so far today, let me know. If you enjoyed this live, if you learned something, if you knew that the time that you just spent here has got you further than the you know you were before joining, Give me some feedback. I work off of feedback. I work off of your guys' knowledge, and I want to make sure that every day you guys are excelling in what you want and what you believe in. All right? Let me go ahead and get into this winner now, though. Let me go ahead and see what's good. Let me go ahead and see what's good. All righty. Are you guys ready? So it's going to be just basically wherever my finger stops. Ready? Wherever my finger stops. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Uh... Nope, that's not the right video. Ready? 3. Let me refresh it one more time. Let's give everybody one more chance. Everybody else more, I I see you, Aquarius. I see you, Aquarius, coming in hot. Last minute with it, girl. I see you. All right? Let's go ahead and get into it, though. I'm going to go ahead and open these last ones up. Ready? Three, two, one. Close my eyes. Ah. Maggots. Maggots. Congratulations on winning. Let me see if they follow me real quick, actually. They do. Maggots, congratulations on winning. 
reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. We can hop on a one-on-one -on -one call and ensure you get the right path to success today. Everybody else in here, make sure to say congratulations. We are a family here at Supreme Ecom. Now, again, if you guys want to come and speak to me afterwards, you guys have some more questions. You guys can, uh, you know, my, my Instagram is always open. But I will say if you want to apply for one of the limited spots available for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for the month of February, to be able to get on a path to generating an extra five to $10,000 a month without wasting time, money, effort, or energy into the wrong direction, you can go and apply right here at supremeecom.com. Now, when you do apply, it will give you the chance of being able to get on a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call um, with, my, with myself and my team so we can make sure that you're a good fit. So we will be doing a discovery call on that. And then lastly, okay, the Discord for all the people who want to be around other like-minded individuals and be around, you know, seeing the successes of my students day in and day out so you never are not motivated, okay, because you see my finger doesn't stop. It does not stop ever, okay? You know, what would it be like to do, you know, $6,000 within your first 10 days, okay? We do this. Now, I do have all these free channels you guys can take advantage of, and I will go ahead and have that po posted down below. Once you do go ahead and join, let us know that you came from the live Q&A, and I would love to be able to uh, talk to you guys inside of our community. So I hope you guys